Jake, hey, my name's Ian. Not the point. Hey, I watched, I saw a video um, on, uh, on Yahoo that you were asking about the uh, speed of light, basically, or the shape of light, which, you know, movement is just a kind of shape. I, a couple years ago, was not, realized that I was not satisfied with E equals MC squared. I think it's archaic because it doesn't take into account a lot of new ideas that, of, of how round everything is. There's no such thing as a square. It doesn't exist in reality. So, we, like, the first law of thermodynamics is broken because it doesn't take into account inflation or potential inflation. It only talks about expansion of like a cylinder getting longer. It doesn't assume that the cylinder might get wider as it gets longer and inflate. So that needs to be reworked too, the first law of thermodynamics. So basically, we need to figure out a way to represent inflation um, in the speed of light because it's like the bigger it gets, the faster it gets sometimes. And it, that's why it'll go from, it'll look like a dot and then all of a sudden it'll like, you'll see that much, you know? It just turns a little and all of a sudden it looks like it, it traveled because it's like a, a flat plane, um, just a theory. I would love to talk to you about this on, on, stick, or on Skype or something. Um, let me know if, if you have more information about that or if you uh, want to know more. Man, I'm I, I inspired by your ability to learn calculus as quickly as you did. I really have to do that. All right, see you, man.